know that we really do need to get him back on the phone here and see if we can um, see if we can uh, get him to comment. So we'll do that, and uh, we'll be right back. to get Mr. Horak on the line with us. And, uh, James, welcome back to the Kevin Smith Show. Thank you, Mr. Smith. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, I sent you these photographs earlier in the day, and uh, you had a chance to take a look at them. And actually, it's one photograph, and then I just zoomed at various levels, um, and just enlarged to various levels. And what we're looking at uh, and what we what we saw on the um, on on the biggest zoom uh looks like you know it's it, it looks like a sort of a flying saucer shape uh but then it's got this uh beam of energy of some kind coming out from the uh bottom of it headed towards the bottom of the photograph James you had a chance to take a look at these um yes well, what are your comments? What what are we looking at here? You're looking at an EMB that's the size of the planet, of this planet. And what is it doing? What's the deal with it? Depositing more EMVs and drawing on energy. Depositing more EMVs? So this is like a mothership? Well, you could say... That's what it is, but uh, it's not like it's having babies. It just carried them EMVs with it. Mm-hmm. All right, and so it's um, uh, the, the, what, what's the deal with this beam of, of light or energy that's coming out of it? What's what's that? If you look, you'll see uh, EMVs coming out of that, and you'll also. Uh, probably see a brightness towards the center uh, above from where it's emanating below the, the craft. Okay. And that's uh, drawing on energy from the sun because it's very close to the sun. Okay, so uh, when I see this bright sort of um, kind of a bulge or a bright uh, ball of light in the middle of this... Um, this beam of energy coming out of it, uh, you're saying that is an EMV that's leaving the, the main ship there? Yes, yes, a number of them. Now, you know, if, if we go back, uh, and, and we're not zoomed in so close on this one, uh, we actually can see that there are other objects out there. We can see one very clearly in that picture, but uh, let me let me just sort of um, mark where I see some. I see three in this uh, in this picture that I've just put up, and um, I don't know what those are. But I mean, are those EMVs too? You're breaking up so bad we couldn't understand you. Try it again, James. Okay, 
okay, that's that's simply not going to work, James. Um, I I can I don't know that that won't work. We can't understand anything you said. Okay, what what we'll have to do is uh, try to get him again. Uh, this is not an unusual thing to have happen. Uh, I know there are people who, uh, because I get email about it, they say, oh, it's your phone system. Believe me, folks, it is not. It truly is not. All right, we will uh, try to use a different phone, and uh, we'll just give him a call right now and see what happens and um, see if it's any better. Hello? All right. We'll see if that's any better. All right. All right. So what are those? Are those EMVs coming out? Or, or, or is that yes. some sort of planets that are out there in the solar system, or what are we looking at? You're looking at EMVs. Huh? How do you know that? Well, like I said before, I have an, an affinity with these uh, EMVs. How many EMVs are going to come to this party? Because it seems like they just keep coming. There'll be 18. Why 18? <clears throat> well, they're task-driven, and that's the number required. Okay, so that would imply then that uh, they have a task that will require 18 of them to get this task done. That's a pretty big task. Well, they've, normally EMVs are shy, but they are. this one is making a display for you. For me personally? For the world. Okay, now why is it, uh, when you say it's making a display for the world, um, is the display what we just saw, or is there something bigger coming? Well, that's, that's up to the world. Okay, we'll elaborate on that a little bit. As I said, the EMVs have protected this world up until now. But uh, the direction things have taken are considered counter-evolutionary, and you're on the threshold of what, extinction? That's humanity's call on this planet. Now, the last time that you uh, were with us and we talked about this sort of thing, uh, you said that um, the future is not written in stone. It's not carved in stone. And it's up to us to decide which way things go. But how do we do that now? Because, I mean, uh, obviously taking a vote isn't going to bring any kind of unity. Let me get an answer to that when we come back, because we, uh, we have to go to a break at this moment, and we'll be back right after this. Kevin Smith show and my guest James Horak. Um, James, um, 
you know this this sounds rather ominous hearing hearing 